yeah we will begin with the previous uh, lesson where we had uh, this uh, filter by three uh, fields will pick two and uh, this is uh, this is where we left so we will uh, change uh, first we will change this uh, to add a all values so we don't force a particular uh, city to be picked so screen on visible we will put uh, we will do clear collect all cities, all cities. and remember this we add a value a result colon all and then we say collect all cities distinct distinct the long list comma city field this we set on visible and this uh, 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 here we'll set it to or on all cities collection all cities so we need to uh, wait and uh, refresh it uh, uh, the other thing is we have to save this as multiple drop down with all I save it then we close it then we will run it from here so uh, when you run the uh, power app the on visible function is executed in preview mode sometimes it runs sometimes it doesn't run so we will uh, wait for it to open then we go to apps we open our app when we hit play that's when uh, it will execute the on visible while it's doing that we let it run and then we edit it here And then there is uh, some delay here. So all and then all the cities. So we close this. We let this load.
modify this uh, so filter I I'll take this code here the first code <coughs> we paste it here if drop down one dot selected dot result is equal to R then filter on the selected date else filter the long list on the selected date on the city and the date so we have here we are uh, we don't uh, you know so it's filtering based on this and if we type first name m o n t y 2 monty 2 at this moment it's not filtering by the first name because we have only the selected date and the city so we don't need uh, this one and we now try the second code here I add if it is all then I filter based on the selected date and the first name I am using in but I will use the starts with in the next uh, in the next part uh, same video so if it is all then only filter on the selected date and the first name if it is selected date then we filter in the city and the uh, selected date so we run it but see there is warning because in is the problem I am just giving different types of example so 17 if i make it 18 so it's still party more and uh, let's do one we still have uh, not incorporated the first name so now we will uh, incorporate uh, all uh, the conditions uh, so if all is selected then we filter the long list based on the date and the first name if a particular city is selected then i filter based on the city selected date and the first name all three so let's run this now we say all let's remove this so on 818 cities Baltimore so let's pick Syracuse not more no, no nothing there the Baltimore and first name if we try to make it less than two so all three conditions city I have added all so this covers filtering based on <coughs> all of the fields so here I will make this as <coughs> city and uh, yeah it should uh, work we pick uh, <coughs> May May first all city using this so I pick now circles New York should show up <coughs> and the because this is uh, filtering based on starts with but if t it will not come okay so <coughs> this condition covers all three filters uh, filter conditions so this is about <coughs> filtering from a drop down with all conditions filtering with the drop down and the all conditions